Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Before we start, I have something exciting to share. If this video hits 2000 likes, I'll do a voice reveal. Yep, you heard that right. So, smash that like button, share it with your friends, and let's make it happen. Alright, now, let's jump into today's video. So, in my last video, is this the end of Bloodstrike, I tried to clear up the myths and misunderstandings that people have about this game, like claims of hackers, pay to win mechanics, and other issues. First, I laid out all the issues people talk about in the game, then I debunked those myths at the end. But instead of watching the whole video, some guys stopped midway and started hating, thinking I was unfairly bashing the game. That was never my intention. So, make sure to watch this video till the end, or you might end up with the wrong idea again. Let's start with the biggest rumor, hackers. I've seen people claim that Bloodstrike is filled with hackers, especially on the EU Mina server. But let me tell you, I've been playing this game since the global launch, and in all that time, I haven't encountered a single hacker. Not one. Now, I get it. Some players might lose a match and immediately think, oh, that guy must be hacking. But just because you got outplayed doesn't mean the other player is cheating. This isn't some wild west where hackers run free. It's a well-maintained game with active devs who are quick to crack down on any actual cheaters. I even reached out to a friend who plays on the EU Mina server where these supposed hackers are lurking. Guess what? He hasn't seen any hackers either. We're talking about a guy who's logged hundreds of hours on that server, so if anyone would have spotted one, it'd be him. And here's the funny part, when I try to ask these people for proof, they suddenly go silent. No screenshots, no video clips, nothing. It's almost like they're ghosts, appearing out of nowhere to shout, hackers, and then vanishing when you ask for evidence. It makes me wonder if they're just frustrated players, bots, or haters trying to bring down the game for no reason. So, let's put this myth to bed. There are no hackers in Bloodstrike, at least none that I or my friends have seen. If you're still convinced they're out there, maybe it's time to sharpen your skills instead of blaming invisible enemies. Now, let's talk about the second big complaint I hear all the time. People saying Bloodstrike is pay to win. Look, I get where this idea comes from. The game has some awesome skins and cosmetic items that you can buy with real money. And sure, some of these skins come with cool features like custom iron sights. But here's the truth, these features don't give you a real advantage in gameplay. The idea that skins make you a better player is just ridiculous. If a shiny new skin could magically improve your aim or reaction time, then every game out there would be pay to win. But that's not how it works. Skill comes from practice, strategy, and experience, not from a cosmetic upgrade. The real problem is that some people see a player with a paid skin and immediately assume they're losing because of it. But let's be real, if you're getting outplayed, it's not because your opponent's gun looks cooler than yours. It's because they've put in the time and effort to get better at the game. And here's a little secret, the players who shout, pay to win, the loudest are often the ones who haven't even tried to improve their own skills. They'd rather blame their losses on something external rather than face the fact that they need to practice more. So, next time you're tempted to call Blood Strike Pay to Win, remember this, no skin, no matter how cool it looks, can make you a better player. It's all about what you bring to the game, not what you buy. Alright, let's move on to another common complaint, lag. Yes, I know some of you have been experiencing lag, and I get that it's frustrating. But before we start pointing fingers at the game, let's take a closer look at what's really going on. When Bloodstrike first launched globally, it ran smoothly on even low-end devices. But as the game has evolved, new features, updates, and content have been added. With every new update, your device has to handle more data, more graphics, and more gameplay mechanics. Naturally, this puts a strain on older or lower-end devices. Now, don't get me wrong, Bloodstrike is still one of the most well-optimized games out there. But if you're experiencing lag, it might be time to consider upgrading your device. The game is designed to run smoothly on a wide range of devices, but there's only so much magic the developers can do. 
If your phone is from the Stone Age, you can't expect it to keep up with a modern game. I've personally been playing Blood Strike on a mid-range device, and it runs just fine. Sure, there might be a slight drop in performance after a big update, but that's normal for any game that's constantly evolving. The devs are always working hard to improve optimization, but if your device is struggling, it's not fair to blame the game. So, before you jump to conclusions about lag, ask yourself, when was the last time you upgraded your phone or tablet? Blood Strike isn't the problem, it's likely your device that needs a little TLC. Finally, let's tackle the myth that Blood Strike has a low player base or, even worse, that the game is dying. I've seen comments saying, the game's dead, or nobody's playing anymore. But let me tell you, that couldn't be further from the truth. Blood Strike is actually growing every day. New players are joining, veterans are sticking around, and the community is as active as ever. Just because you don't instantly find a full lobby doesn't mean the game is dead. Sometimes, matchmaking might take a few extra seconds because the game is putting you in the best possible match for your skill level and connection. In fact, the slow growth we're seeing is a good sign. It means that the game is attracting dedicated players who are in it for the long haul, not just casuals who play for a week and then move on to the next thing. Bloodstrike is building a solid, engaged community, and that's what keeps a game alive in the long run. The truth is, the people who claim the game is dying probably aren't even playing it regularly. They just see what they want to see and spread negativity without really knowing what's going on. But those of us who are actively playing know the real story, Blood Strike is very much alive, and it's here to stay. So, don't let the haters get to you. Keep playing, keep improving, and keep supporting the game. Blood Strike's best days are still ahead of us, and you don't want to miss out on that. So, there you have it, Blood Strike is very much alive, and it's not going anywhere. The myths about hackers, pay-to-win mechanics, lag, and a low player base are just that, myths. If you love the game like I do, keep playing, keep supporting the devs, and don't fall for the hate. Let's keep the Blood Strike community strong and thriving. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the game.